Hi y'all, I'm here from Nurse Rosie RN to talk about face masks because that's what we like to do. And I saw a video today that's being passed around the internet of some guy with a tube in his mouth and he's sitting there measuring the air that's coming out of his mouth talking about how face masks reduce the oxygen that you're getting in your bloodstream. And that is called hypoxia, but I'm gonna show y'all with a standard pulse oximeter. That's the bottom number. It measures the amount of oxygen in my bloodstream. Mine usually stays 97, 98. Y'all don't look at that top number, it's the heart rate and I am anxious. I don't like talking on camera, but this really needs to be done. Um, so here you are, I'm at 97, 98, sitting here talking to y'all, nothing's wrong. I don't have any breathing problems or anything like that. And I'm gonna show y'all several different masks and prove that they don't change the amount of oxygen that you're getting when you're wearing a face mask. The only thing you're doing is protecting other people from spreading the coronavirus. So this is a standard surgical mask. I've got it snug around my face and I'm sitting still talking to you at 97% oxygenation. Anything over 90 is what we're looking for in the hospital or in a healthcare setting. So at 97, I am getting plenty of air, plenty of oxygen. My brain is happy, my cells are happy, and I'm not losing anything by wearing this paper surgical mask. This is a standard fabric. This is two layer cotton fabric. The accordion masks that everybody's liking and selling and buying, you can get these all over the place. Um, we will have these available on the Etsy store if you would like some. I have it tied a little. My friend Lynn made me this one. It's so cute. Shout out, Lynn. Um, I always have to tie loops because I have a small face and masks don't fit me snug. But you got to be sure when you're wearing a mask that you cover your nose and your mouth or else you're not doing anything. And here I am still wearing the pole socks at 97% oxygenation, just like I was without the mask. Nothing has changed while I'm sitting here running my head, talking my head off like a fool and breathing normal through this regular fabric mask. And this is plenty to help protect you, to protect others against your emissions if you are carrying it and you sneeze or cough, this will help to protect those around you. Now the Olsen mask, which is what I like the most, I like it because it was created by nurse researchers based on evidence-based practice. And um, there are videos and patterns, printable patterns on Nurse Rosie's Facebook page where you can make these yourself. I'll wear it snug, fitted, still 98. This is even higher than I was sitting talking to you there. I'm back at the same 97, 98, just like I am all the time. I keep it snug, keep it close to my face. This has the aluminum nose piece to keep it snug against my nose to keep particles from being admitted if I were to sneeze or cough wearing the mask. And even to prove my point even more, before things changed and we got our N95s at work, we were supposed to wear the paper surgical mask because it, it protects better even than the fabric. Even two layer, both of these are two layer cotton fabric. They're recommended by the CDC if you wanna make your own. <coughs> Excuse me, got choked up a little. But before we switched to the N95s at work, I was wearing a paper mask inside of the fabric mask because I'm a weirdo and I don't like the way the paper feels up against my face. Um, so I keep mine in the filter pocket of my Olsen mask. So I am essentially at one time wearing two well-fitted masks. Trying to tie this without losing my pull socks. Got that snug and I'm still sitting right there at 97. Essentially through two masks, the paper and the Olsen, I'm still satin at exactly the same as I was when we started this and I wasn't wearing a mask at all. So 
So now we're gonna go on to the N95. This is what most surgical um, teams are wearing, what most um, nurses, doctors, COVID units are supplying. And the important thing about an N95, if you're gonna go out and pick one up off of the store shelf, if you don't have the right size, then it's not gonna fit you properly. If it's too tight or too loose, you're not getting as much protection. Also, I'm not showing any of the vented masks, the ones with the little vent in the side of them, because I don't believe that those protect you at all. Those are open to the air. There's no kind of filter inside those vent. So they let out full spit saliva particles and you're spreading COVID every time you sneeze. So this N95 has the nose piece. It's fit snug against my face, snug against my nose. There's no air getting in anywhere and I'm still sitting right at 97. Nothing has changed. I'm still anxious. I don't like to be on the video, but we're still at the same oxygenation as we were when we started this video. Nothing has changed. Even add the plastic shield. Ninety-seven. Nothing has changed. So this proves once and for all that a regular pulse oximeter shows that oxygen in your bloodstream is not changing one bit, no matter what kind of mask you're wearing. So y'all have a great day. Stay safe and take care of each other. Wear your mask and protect the people you love.